What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys likely know by now, I am a Canadian eBay reseller. And with that being said, eBay has been extremely slow as of late and I've been listing a lot of my stuff on Facebook Marketplace recently and getting a lot more sales than I have recently on eBay. So I did mention a couple videos ago that I'll be making a new eBay video every two weeks. Right now, it's gonna be something related to buying and selling every two weeks, whether I'm listing it on eBay and or sold it on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or just a haul of stuff that I bought to resell every two weeks is gonna be something related to my business on my channel. So stay tuned for that. But today I'm gonna to be talking about my most recent Facebook Marketplace sales. Over the past week, I've been selling stuff on Facebook Marketplace that's been sitting in my inventory for months that I just have not been able to sell on eBay. So it's been nice to get some more things out the door, more money coming in, and I don't have to deal with shipping, eBay fees or any possible returns that might happen through eBay and I get my money immediately in cash or e-transfer so it's been great because I don't have to claim that on the taxes either and that's been an added benefit of doing it on Facebook Marketplace. Over the past week I've had so many sales piling in from Facebook Marketplace and sold so much stuff that in this video I'm not going to be able to talk about everything. I think in a couple weeks or maybe a month so there's a video in between this one. Um, I'm going to make another video sharing some other things that I sold on Facebook Marketplace as well. So at first, the first item is four PlayStation 3 video games that I sold for $5 each, a total of $20, and that wasn't too bad. So I basically went through my inventory of all my PS3 games that I had, and I basically have been posting on Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji saying a $5 PlayStation 3 game blowout. A bunch of games I have, I'm listing them and trying to sell them for $5 each and I've been selling quite a few of them and that's been amazing to see a lot more games being sold that way than listing them individually on eBay and having to ship individual games. Somebody's buying four games at a time or more games than that at a time, that's more money and I'm selling them quicker and I don't have to deal with any fees and I'm making about the same profit as I would if I was selling it on eBay. I'm just selling them a little bit quicker. So that's been amazing to do, putting the $5 video game blowouts on Facebook Marketplace, a lot more people have contacted me and wanting to know if I can find other games for them. So now I know different games that people are interested in. If I find them out in the wild and I purchase them in video game lots, now I can contact them and sell them this game because that's what they requested and that's what they're looking for. So that's been amazing. So that was a $20 sale, four video games sold. The next was a PlayStation 3 bundle that I've had sitting for maybe two months now. I haven't had any hits on eBay. I ended up taking it down off of eBay and listing it on Facebook Marketplace. It was a PlayStation 3 lot. Now this one here, I usually list my PS3 consoles with I think seven games. Now this per person was purchasing it for his children which were like between five and eight, um, his two daughters. So he wanted kid friendly games. So I went through all of my games that I was listing for $5 each pulled out seven games from that that are more kid friendly and replaced them. So he paid $115 for that and about $80 of that was profit because I did get this PS3 really cheap and I just gave him seven video games and bundled that together. That's usually what I do with my PS3 bundles. I'll bundle the console with the wires, usually one to two controllers and seven video games at most times. Now, if they buy other games from me, I'll usually, if I do it on eBay, I'll ship them all together, but selling it this way on Facebook Marketplace lately has been a little bit easier and a lot more manageable than having to do it on eBay. The next game is something that has been sitting on eBay for months, and if you guys remember months and months ago, I did purchase from Shoppers Drug Mart a bunch of sealed PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 games that they were on clearance for $5 each. Now, I didn't know what they were worth. Some were worth $10 each. Some would have sold and got me maybe 15, almost $20 profit, which would have been amazing. But they've been sitting on eBay. I've had people acquiring. I think I sold one out of all of the ones I bought, but I paid $45 in total. And I think I sold one and made 15, almost $20 profit on eBay. All the rest have been sitting for all of this time. So finally, I listed them all on Facebook Marketplace. I listed them for $10 each or $60 for the lot. I think there might have been seven games left, six or seven games left. So I think I listed them for $10 each. Somebody offered me $50 for all of them. 
I did sell it to him. I took the offer $50 for all of these games. I think that is about $20 profit on all of those games I bought back at Shoppers Drug Marts. That is still profit. That is still really good. And it's stuff that's been sitting for months that I haven't been able to sell. He even bought them and there was, I think, two of the games were doubles. He didn't care. He mainly bought it for Grand Theft Auto V that was sealed. He just said there's something about sealed games that he wants and that's why he wanted that one rather than one of my $5 games that I had because I think I had GTA in the $5 pile but he wanted the sealed copy that I had which was awesome so he bought them all and that was amazing because that stuff's been sitting for months and I didn't have to deal with shipping or eBay fees on them. And the last item that I'm going to be sharing in this video is something that I honestly never thought I would get rid of. And this is something that I've had sitting since November 2020, really whenever I started to really dive into selling on eBay. And that is... 11 PlayStation 3 sports games that I had and most of the time I can't get rid of sports games sports games Just sit and sit and sit nobody wants them if I have them bundled with a console People ask me for other games and take out the sports games So I've just had stacks of sports games for months So I decided just to get rid of my sports games I think I had 12 Xbox 360 sports games and I think I had 11 PlayStation 3 sports games I bundled them separately $10 each for the lots and I ended up selling the PlayStation 3 ones So somebody bought all 11 PlayStation 3 games for $10. That's less than a dollar each But I just wanted to get rid of it. So that's $10 in my pocket. I got rid of a lot of games I got rid of 11 games that took out a lot of space So I'm able to get games and fill that space that I had those games in with other stuff that will sell quicker sports games for me are just stuff that's I don't mind, but I'm definitely not interested in. I would rather just avoid sports games. And for the most part, I have. These ones have been accumulating since November 2020, and I ended up just getting rid of them now. So 11 sports games for $10 doesn't sound like much, but I'm just glad to get rid of them and free up some more space to put some of my other inventory. So these are my most recent Facebook Marketplace sales. Now, it is a little bit better, in my opinion, than selling on eBay. Now, I don't have anything against eBay, just... Selling it on Facebook Marketplace, I don't have to deal with shipping, I don't have to deal with any possible returns or anything like fees or stuff like that. It is just quick, easy sales and that's what I really love to do. Now, of course, it's a little bit better because there's no returns, so whenever I hand them the item, I make sure they check it over first and then if they want it, they do take it. Most of the time they take it because everything I have is in great condition, everything I have is tested and works. So I've never had anybody message me back saying they had any issues with anything I've sold them and that is awesome and I never had any returns on eBay either but this just really limits the possible returns because Facebook Marketplace it's kind of hard to do returns. Now if somebody did message me I probably depending on the situation would do a return and just be able to sell it to somebody else but I don't have to wait for the item to be shipped back to me. I don't have to check it over. I don't have to pay for return shipping and that is way easier to do than doing it on eBay. Like I said in a couple weeks I'll share with you some more Facebook marketplace sales. I've been selling a lot of great items and items that have been sitting for months are finally going out the door because I listed them on Facebook marketplace. So hopefully I do continue to do this, but also list more things on eBay whenever I get more inventory to sell. And I'm just giving you guys a little sneak peek right now. I did buy over 2000 comic books that I'm going to be going through. Most of them are going to be listed to sell. I got to go through, see really what there is and then start listing on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, and other sites to try to sell it as fast as I can. But that is all I'm gonna mention about the comics. You guys are gonna have to wait for that video where I talk about everything that I did purchase. But this has been my most recent Facebook Marketplace sales. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care, peace.